Hunter. The rivalry between the two welterweight boxers Roberto Duran and Sugar Ray Leonard has a special place in the history of world boxing. Just like Muhammad Ali with Joe Frazier, Mike Tyson with Evander Holyfield, and Manny Pacquiao with Floyd Mayweather. Even the story between Leonard and Duran is told in three different films. Their feud began before their first duel, which was held on June 20, 1980, at the Olympic Stadium, Montreal, Canada. Duran, who recently progressed from lightweight to welterweight, has a 71-1 record, eight of which he won at welterweight. While Leonard has not lost in his previous 27 fights, including several fights to defend his WBC title. Duran, by his side, has ambitions to overthrow Leonard as a symbol of America he has hated since childhood, while Leonard is America's golden boy, who wants to prove that he is not only a flamboyant boxer who often appears in commercials, but also capable of dealing with violent boxers like Duran. The match, which was held by two well-known promoters Bob Arum and Don King, successfully sold out 75,000 tickets, with ringside seats, reaching a price of 500 US dollars. In the wallet distribution, Leonard got $8.5 million, while Duran as the challenger got $1.5 million. This inequality is one of the factors that Duran triggers the provocation. The incident started at a press conference, Leonard making diplomatic comments, while Duran responded in another tone, lower language. After the press conference, the hostility became even more pronounced when Leonard was accompanied by his wife and coach at the same hotel, when he passed Duran. Leonard tried to be friendly by giving a big smile, but Duran instead responded with ridicule, insults, and a number of other words. Even Duran also told Leonard's wife, I will kill your husband, recalls Dundee, Leonard's coach. Leonard was truly furious, and wanted to teach Duran a lesson. Emotions have made Leonard fight as usual, and also heed all the strategies directed by Angelo Dundee, the coach who also coached Muhammad Ali. Duran had mocked Leonard, insulted and cursed his mother, wife and children. Duran's words penetrated Leonard's mind so deeply that he was dragged into Duran's game. After fighting for 15 fierce rounds, Leonard finally lost after the jury decided the victory via unanimous decision. Leonard, who had been defeated both mentally and physically, was determined to rise up and avenge him. While on the other hand, Duran, who was enjoying victory, was living with spree and party. Unfortunately for Duran, the manager signs a deal with Don King to hold a rematch without Duran's knowledge. Duran, who knew there would be a rematch, didn't expect it to be so soon. The drastic weight gain made Duran unprepared for the fight. The manager argued that he didn't like seeing Duran being undisciplined and partying every night. The deal was for Duran's own good. In addition, the manager was also worried that if Duran didn't fight for a long time, he would lose his reputation as a top boxer. We'll be back with the start of the fight. The day of the battle arrived, Leonard was no longer consumed by Duran's provocations. 
Leonard is really 100%, jumping here and there, dodging up and down, in and out, dancing like a butterfly, like Muhammad Ali. Throughout the fight, Leonard beats Duran with his jab while moving. Duran tries to pin him to the ropes of the ring, but Leonard dodges while hitting. With a physical condition that is not excellent due to weight loss, Duran is not at all ready. Even Duran had stomach cramps when the fight had only been running for five rounds. When Leonard made a provocative gesture, that was when Duran was said to have said, no moss to referee Octavio Marin, indicating that Duran didn't want to fight anymore. In his defense at the press conference, Duran didn't say no Maz, but nice I go, no I go, which means he can't continue the fight because of stomach cramps. Whatever Duran said, it didn't matter anymore to Leonard. Because now he has regained the WBC welterweight title belt, after he was decided to win via technical knockout. Leonard said that making a boxer, let alone a Roberto Duran give up, is a better thing than knocking him out. After that fight, Duran and Leonard had not seen face to face for three years. Duran, who had slumped for some time, finally rose when he won the WBA super welterweight title over Davey Moore in 1983. After that victory, Leonard suddenly appeared to congratulate him. That moment became the turning point that eventually made Duran and Leonard become good friends. Despite being good friends, the two met once again for the WBC Super Middleweight title in 1989. Leonard again won the battle which lasted 12 rounds. Outside the ring, the two remain good friends and respect each other. All of Duran's taunts when they first met were a strategy outside the ring to weaken Leonard's psychology, as well as Leonard's taunts in the ring in their second fight. Well guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to write your comments below, like and share the video if it's useful. See you in another video.